Spins the pass right side of McClung, a long three goes in for the right side. Back McClung, his second three, he has six. As Wilson frame, spins the right side to McClung. And the ball knocked away, but he's fouled. And McClung, the NBA G League Rookie of the Year from last year. One shot worth two for the right-hander. Down it goes, points seven and eight. And we are tied at 65 here on opening night. Time in Greensboro. I first say I'm a, a winner, a leader, competitor. Um, I really take pride in giving everything I got on the floor each night. Um, confident player who can, you know, get his teammates involved, get his teammates going, and score for himself. One on one against Crutcher, takes Jalen into the lane, floating right hander, bouncing around, and it goes in high on the back rim and floats it in for another two. Blue Coats back in the lead by one. Here's Alexander at the top of the key. Stops at the top of the circle, fires it up. Three, and it goes in! Impressive move by Mac McClung. He has 18 points off the bench. Last year's NBA G League Rookie of the Year. And misses it, rims out on him. Alexander down the lane, running right. Hander goes in! Oh, he puts some arc on it! Swarm have their biggest lead of 13 at 94-81. McClung's hero step down the lane, floats up a shot, rolls around, and it goes in by McClung. McClung inbounds at the baseline on the near side, and the Blue own basket toward a shoot, running right-hander, sky hook in the lane by McClung is good. How did he do that? Now he and Tyson Alexander, each sharing game-high totals, each scoring 25 points. One second to go, buzzer sounds, and that is it. It's a roller coaster to go up and down. You know, you think, hopefully this will work, or you know, or maybe this is the one. But he just—he's really level-headed, and he stays the course, and he works to get better every day. And and he—I think he gets better every year. Every year that he's—I think he's that's gone. what's the most impressive thing. I think his time's coming, and when it does, I think the right team will find him, and then yeah. that's when he'll stick. You know, Max, a super athlete. We've had athletes in our family. And, you know, a lot of people have holiday seasons, you know, maybe Christmas season they get together, or maybe they get together for birthdays. But we got basketball season, and we got football season, and baseball seasons that we all get together. So uh, we travel in, as a family and, and as, a, as a pack. I think he'll like it. He may act like he doesn't, but I think he'll like seeing everybody with his name, I hope. <laughs> it's not too bad. As a parent, you you your main goal is that your kids are happy, right? I mean, you you do your best you can to, to raise them and teach them right and wrong, but you you what you want for them is for them to be happy, and uh, I think that's the only thing that's going to make Mac happy is 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 being in the NBA. Yeah, I think sometimes I forget, like, people are paying attention to what I do. I think I'm just in my own mode. And, you know, it's funny, I think I noticed when I got cut from the Warriors, like, you know, I just expected to be the same thing. A couple hate, you know, messages and, 
and all that, but like it was so overwhelming to like support, like to like you're like right there, like don't quit. I'm just like, you've been paying attention to all this, like you know, like I watched this G League game, it was G League season. It's like, oh my goodness, like you know, people are following me. That's that's incredible, you know, and I forget sometimes. I got a tattoo on it that says the foolish man seeks happiness in the distance. Like, if I'm not happy now, I'm not gonna be happy. It's not gonna change when I'm in the NBA. So that's that's been the best thing, I think. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.